Morning guys. Right, today's film I'm going to be basically getting that edge done on the floor pan. And I, as you can see I've been playing around with a, an old wheel tub to check the line up and what have you. Looks pretty good to be honest. I've done some little repairs on there. That's a seat mount for the driver's seat. And done a little bit there, just needs finishing off. figured out that if I use a seat frame to fasten in the seat there and here and here that will give me the perfect positioning for the floor pan before I do the initial tack welds to, to put it in and today we may also be using this gizmo which is a carbonite brazing torch goes onto this thing old art welder set it around 50 amps and hopefully going to be sealing this so that's that's where I'm at not doing too bad not bad at all right okay I'll sign off for a little while and set things up talk to him okay got the floor pan out ready to do you can see I've got the uh, the reinforcing bar underneath I can now start to think about making the measurements for the cut and getting the new piece of angle section in. It's in a very poor state, you can see, but with a new lip it shouldn't be too bad. It's just this back section that's a little bit tatty. Right then, I'll cut it here, do some repairs, and get back to you when I've put the new section in. Here we go. I've just fitted the first of the angle section, ready to uh, mark out the edge of the floor pan, ready for a cut to get the, the new piece in. I take the front end from this uh, box section that I've got lying around quite a few of these so it's a decent gauge so I've chopped it off that clamped it in position I'll do the marking out the cutting and then uh, obviously weld it in place put a new section at the back there right back shortly okay I put the piece in place I've put a tack weld either end and what I'm going to do now is to, uh, basically connect the bar underneath to reinforce whilst I do the welding and also to make sure that it's straight so another few minutes and I'll uh, I'll be able to weld it properly I think let's get the clamps on right guys well the first part of the lip is in place stitched it in all along and looks quite okay happy with that now what I'm going to do now is take that rusty section out there uh, I've just made a plate and joddle the edges so that I can clean it and put it into place so I'll chop out that and fit that in and then I'll do this uh, seat mount and then I'll move on to the rears it's doing okay it's coming along, shall we say. But hopefully by next week the floor pan will be ready to uh, put into place and weld in. I'm getting a little bit excited now. Okay everybody, that's the plate in. I like to grind it off. Done a little bit of a fill on a crack, a little split in the floor pan there. And let's go underneath and have a look. There we go, that's it from underneath. As and when I rotate the shell, I'll fill them in. Let's have a look at the, uh, the edge of the new lip. Same thing, when I, when I rotate the shell, I'll stitch the lip, tidy it up, make it into one, one piece. That's okay. I can live with that. 
Okay everyone, you can join me now after lunch, which was rather nice. I've now made the corner piece for the uh, back of the floor. I'm just going to stitch that in place and then um, have an overall picture of how it's uh, going to sit. Right, I'll weld that in guys, get back to you. Well, I'm almost there. As I say, I've done the, the rear lip. That's all nice and tidy. Should support very well. So that's that. I'm going to repair section into this piece here. And where are we? There we go. So. That's done. So on this side, I've got to repair seat mount, do the rear on that one, and that's it. Floor pan ready to go in. So hopefully next week's journey will be installing the floor pan into the dear old Cortina. What's left of it anyway? There we go. Had to weight it down. Not a great deal to go. Right then, I've prepped everything, cleaned off the, the metal, got out the brazing rods as you can see. I've got quite a few. To be honest, I've got about half a dozen packs of these. Doing well, there's the flux, there's the welder. So, I'll set up the camera and we'll, we'll have a go. Okay guys, about to try this. I'm only going to do this for a few seconds with the camera on because I don't particularly want to burn out the image sensor on the, the camera. You get the general idea. I'll show you again once I've actually done the thing, but that's that's carbonite brazing. Right then, here we go. Filled it, treated it, lightly ground it. Of course, it needs some extra work on it, but you get the you get the idea. I'm sure. Not bad. Do the other side next. Okay everybody, our last look for today. We're into floor pan country. Got the line. Nice repair. Of course it's only clamped in position. But even so I'm happy with that. Looks pretty good. Catches his leg. Never mind. So all in all, it's been a rather good day. Happy with that. Definitely be going in next week. Hope everyone's enjoyed this little journey with me. There we go. That horrific noise you might hear. Next door's washing machine. Horrible. Oh yeah. Very happy. And more than a little bit exciting. But I'm sure you all get that. There we go.